Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over a procedure for finding duplicate files using the command line on a Mac. And this also works on Linux systems too, with a few exceptions. So if you're a beginner and you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you're an expert at this and you have suggestions, uh, go ahead and leave those in the comments also. So I have everything I'm going to type in down here at the bottom. And, uh, but as I type it in, I'm going to stop in places and explain things. So I'll be working from uh, the bottom as my, you can always reference that for what I'm doing. So I've opened up a terminal and I'm in my home directory. We can type PWD, which is the print working directory. And we'll see I'm in my home directory here. And then if I type find space dot forward slash, this will find all of the files in my home directory. So I'll clear the screen here and we'll go back up. If you're new to the uh, terminal, you can press the up arrow to go, um, your up cursor to go up through your history and find previous commands. You can go up and down. So I just pushed up till I found the find uh, dot slash. Next, I want to uh, say I only want to find files. I don't want to find things that aren't actual files. It can be, I don't know, directories or um, symbolic links, things like that. So I'll type space dash type space F and this will make it so these are all files now. And then I want to say exclude anything that's empty. So I'll type space dash not space dash empty. So this excluded empty files. It's kind of hard to tell when I'm scrolling on the screen, you don't know what's empty and what's not, but that removes empty files. Then I want to remove the library directory. So on a Mac, the library directory has like caches and config files and things like that. So if you're on a Linux machine, you don't need to exclude the library directory. There may be other directories you want to exclude. We'll type space dash not, space dash path, space single quote, dot forward slash forward slash library, forward slash star single quote. So this is uh, removing anything that's in the library. And then we'll type dash exec, space md5, space dash r, so th this is something that if you're on Linux, you need to consider. Uh, this md5-r is the same as md5-sum. I'll show you this after this is done running here, or as it's running, maybe. So the if you're on Linux, just use md5-sum. If you're on Mac, use md5 space dash r. And then we'll type left brace, right brace, space, backslash, semicolon. So when we run this, this will give us uh, md5 hashes of each file and it'll so let me clear the screen and we want to put this into a file called file underscore list so I'll say greater than space file underscore list dot txt so this will take a little bit of time to run the more files you have the longer this will take I mean this could take I don't know 20 minutes 30 minutes an hour who knows so while this is running I'll look at this md5 here so if I go to my desktop um, I have a file here called stream notes. So I'll type in MD5 space stream notes. And you'll see it says MD5 has the file name equals and then the um, MD5 hash. So this is kind of the Mac version of MD5. So if we type MD5 space dash R and then stream notes, it will have the MD5 sum space and then the file name and this is the same as like linux would do it that's why we're using this md5-r on a mac and on linux you just use md5 sum to um, get this format so we'll exit here and we'll wait for this to finish i'll probably speed up the video or uh, forward ahead okay so that's finished so we have this uh, file here called file list let me just get that up file list and we can find out how many files are in this by typing wc space dash l. So wc is word count and dash l um, is number of lines. So this will tell us how many lines are in it. So it says there's uh, 27,511 lines. Um, if you look down here in my notes, I have two of these find lines here. And the difference here is we're looking at all files in my uh, example I'm doing up here. But if you just want to JPEGs, you could add this iname here, um, iname and then star.jpg. So I will actually put this probably in a pinned comment so you can uh, copy these and paste them um, because I know it could be hard to type these in. And I've tried putting them in the description, but it doesn't like braces, but I can put it in a pinned comment. So watch for it down there. But if you just want JPEGs, you could do something like this. So 
on a Mac, you could go into your photos library and find files um, that are just JPEGs that are duplicated. And this is looking for duplicated contents. So if the file name is different, uh, but the contents are the same, it will find it. It does not match file names. Um, so we have the 27,000 files here. And let's take a quick look at that. If we want to look at the beginning of this file, we can just type head, space, and then file list. And this will show us the first 10 lines. You can also type head and then uh, dash n, and then just some number like 20. And this will show you the first 20 lines. So we have the uh, hash here, and we have the uh, file. What we want to do is sort these. So we'll use the sort command. We'll type sort space file underscore list dot txt, and then we'll use the greater than, and then file list, and then I'll add I'll add a sort in here underscore sort, and that's super fast. I'm not speeding that up, and you will see the same number of lines in here. We've just sorted it, and then let me clear this out. And we'll type head file list sort, and we'll see here that the hashes here are in order because it uh, sorted them left to right. So now we're going to go through a, a series of procedures to cut these out and find duplicates. So we'll type cat file list sort and when we type cat that will take the file and uh, output it to the terminal. Okay, so we did that. Um, then we're going to pipe this to the cut command. So I'll type cut space dash d and d is the delimiter. So I'll type uh, dash d space quote space quote so we're looking for a delimiter of a space which is this space here in between the hash and the file name and then we'll type space dash f1 so this will isolate the hash so when we run this we'll just see the hashes okay and then i'm looking at my uh list here and we have sort next and i think i added this sort in later i don't think this sort's needed but i'll do it anyway it's not going to hurt anything so i'll add this sort in so that will sort the hashes if I'm thinking properly, I don't think I need that. So, and then I'll write, I'll do unique space dash C, and this will look for unique hashes and dash C will count them. So I'll run that and it will show the number of each time this hash appears in this file, okay? Next, we're going to do another sort and we'll type sort space dash N, and this will sort numerically. So it will sort by this here, uh, it'll have, 85 is the number of times this file has shown up in this um, the file list and then next and so you you could leave this like this here but um, I figure when we're at this point we can remove any um, files that only have one instance so that's what this uh, grep here is so if I scroll up here I can find uh, I'll get up to the point where there are no duplicates and we should see a one in this first column I may have to scroll up quite a ways. Okay, right here. So if I copy this, and then I'll go back down to my command and type grep space dash V. So grep V says we're going to exclude the thing that the uh, we're looking for. So grep, v, grep dash V space, single quote, and then we'll do the caret symbol, which is the little up looking thing over the six key. And then, and that says we're looking for the beginning of the string, and then we'll type space, 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 one, space. And that's what I, you could copy that or type it in. Um, there could be instances where that is different on a different system, maybe. So you can skip this step if it's not working for you. So if we do this, we're going to exclude the ones. Actually, here's a little test. We can run WC for word count, and we'll see how many lines we had. So there's 24,000. We'll run this again, excluding the single files, and we should see a smaller number. So that took a lot out. So we had uh, 24,000 uh, lines here, and now we're down to 1,900 lines because we took out any that were only in there a single time because they're obviously not duplicates. Next, what I so we ended up with the data here with the count and the hash, and I want to swap these. So the hash is on the left and the count is on the right, and that comes from this awk command here. So I'll type awk space, single quote, brace, and then I don't think the spaces are required here. I just do it because it looks better. So I'll type T equals dollar sign one semicolon. So what we're going to do is we're going to assign the first thing, the first um, field, which would be this count to T because this is dollar sign one. This is dollar sign two. So then we will say 
we want dollar sign one equal to dollar sign two. So we're going to take the value from this value and place it in this field. Now we took this field value and put it into T. So now we'll say dollar sign two equals T. So using this command, we're swapping those two values. And then we'll type semicolon space print. So this does the swap and then print prints it to the output. Then we'll type a, a closing right brace and then a quote. And if we hit enter here, oh, and I made a mistake here. I left the word count in here, so I need to remove the word count. There we go. So now we have the swapped values. We have the hash on the left, we have the count on the right. And now we want to sort these by the hash. So we'll say sort, uh, pipe sort, and now you see the hashes are sorted, then we have the count on the right. And we'll place this into a file called file count. So we'll say greater than space file underscore counts dot txt. We'll hit enter. And now we have two files that are, yeah, we have three actually. We have the file list, we have the sorted list, and we have this file counts. So now that we have these, uh, we really don't need this file list anymore. We'll keep it for right now, but we don't need it. Next, we'll join the file counts and the file list sort together to get our list of duplicates. So to do that, we'll type join space and then dash one and then one. So what we're saying is we want the first field. Actually, before we do the join, let's do this. Let's type head space n5 and then our file counts and then we'll type head space n5 file list sort. So we're listing the first five fields of both of these files. Then let's do our join. So we have join space dash one one. So we're gonna look at the first file, first field, which is this hash. Then we're gonna say space dash two one. We're gonna look at the second file, first field, which is the hash there. And then we're gonna put the two names of the file. So we're gonna say file counts and then file list sort. So I'll hit enter here. And this will list the, the hash, the count, and then the file. And we wanna sort this. So I'll say pipe, sort space dash k2 comma so that's going to look at this here this number so we're going to say k2 comma 2 and then space dash n and the n makes it look for the number and then we're going to sort it by the file so we'll type space k1 actually we're going to sort it by the hash so we're going to sort it by the number and the hash then comma 1 and then if we hit enter here this should give us our list and we'll put that into file dupes and then we can type cat file dupes, and we have the list here. So what we end up with here is the hash of the file, the count, and then the file name. So you can see here there's this like node project here, and they have all these licenses. So if we were to take this and copy it and type less, and then I'll type uh, quote the name, and I'll paste it in here and type quote again, you'll see there's this uh, MIT license, okay? So if we did this for any of these files here, they're all gonna be the same thing. So let me cat this out again. And if we scroll up a little bit, we'll see like the next one here, there's this tag set. So all of these tag sets are the same. So th the question is, what do you do with these duplicate, uh, this duplicate file data? You could scroll, look through it and probably look for patterns like say you have a family vacation folder with photos in it and you find that those are all duplicated in another folder called family vacation copy. And then you could manually go in there and um, say remove the data if you want. We'll look up here is like these more licenses here, more licenses. Let's see if there's any media here. Okay, here's some media. Well, these are part of some kind of a JPEG in a music file. So there's, there's lots of duplicates in here. Uh, I don't know how useful this is on this data right here because, um, you know, I've got all these like node project things. Let me scroll up here. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll run this with the JPEG with this one here. Well, I guess this can be a good example. So I just want JPEGs. What I'll do here is I'll just copy this and paste it in the terminal. This may be the way you want to use it, but I want to go through each command so you can understand what they do. So I'll run this and then I'll run the next line here, the sort. Okay, so now we just have the JPEGs and we have those we saw before. And we have here, like here's a duplicate here. So if we look here, this is some uh, data I was using for a previous video and I copied this folder over. So you can see these 
this snapshot JPEG is the same as this snapshot shot JPEG here. So that's a duplicate. So I might go in and say, well, I don't really need this, you know, extra email data here. So I could go in and delete it, for instance. So let's let's actually do that. Let's go. I'll go to my desktop, and let's see where that was. Oh, this is Documents Desktop. Okay. Uh, what I can do here is I can copy this, and I can do a couple different things. I can type CD, and then quote around it. You don't always have to use quotes, but a lot of times there'll be spaces in these files, so you want to use quotes. So I'll type CD, and this will take me into that directory, unless I typed it wrong. Let's see. Oh, I'm in the desktop. I need to go back to where I was. <laughs> okay. So now I'm in this directory. You can also type open, and this will actually open it in the finder. But I, I like working from the terminal. So I want to remove the tar vid. So I'll type rm space dash fr tar vid, and that removed that directory. So now I'll go back to, I'll type cd, and that'll take me into my home directory. And then I can go up through my history and rerun these commands to get a refreshed list. Okay, so now we see that those are no longer here. We have a lot fewer. Looks like there's still a couple um, duplicates here from some other thing. This is, oh yeah, these are in different directories here. Have the same uh, JPEG on it. Here I have this uh, image compress. I have the same picture here. This pumpkins.jpg is the same in both of these. So these are kind of noise here. These JPEGs, they're all the same exact. So, um, you know, I have some MP3 on here. If you, if I went through the directory where I store all my music, I'd probably have a ton of these JPEGs here. So in, it's this EA dir. This is some kind of metadata. You could uh, exclude this from your list. So um, when I cat this out, I could type pipe grep space dash V and then this EA dir, and then it will take those out of my list. And you can string those together. So say I didn't want this image compress in here. I could do pipe grep space v image compress and that will take that out too and then this will show us the duplicate we have left so so i know there's probably a lot to go over if you want to just try this you could copy and paste a lot of these things right into your terminal to try them like i say i'll put it in a comment down below but if you have any questions uh, please put those in the comments if you like this video please click like if you haven't subscribed to my channel i would appreciate it if you could do that and thanks for watching until next time goodbye